Hi, welcome again to this uh, tutorial. We are going to install Endeavor OS. It's a new one. It's a successor for Anteros. But before we go there, let me show you how I got there. So you know that uh, Arclinux is going in holiday. Holiday season is, is great resourcing, you know. But um, we would like to move from our big screen to our smaller screens. You take your ebook reader with you or your iPad, a tablet, a phone, anything like it. And one of the things that I'd like to read up on is articles that I put on a site that I said, I'm going to read it later. I'm going to read it later. And Pocket is one of those. And I was Googling, well, Googling not, I was pocketing in here. You can search for the word Arch Linux. And that's why I, how I found this newcomer new Arch Linux based Endeavor OS launches to keep spirit of Antergos alive. So now we're going to launch. Well, well, first I better talk. Well, this is the link yeah, to Forbes. And then we move, we jumped from there to there. And we see already something interesting. This is the Calamaris installer. This is should be and is pretty familiar for us because of the fact that we've just done a series on Calamares, 28 videos about it. In the very near future, Endeavor OS will also offer online installer, letting the user choose between 10 desktops. Remember Antergos installer, that was just an awesome installer. It's something I would like to envision in mid-term, long-term, that we can do something similar in Calamares, that we can choose, I want to have Mate, I want to have i3, I want to have this and that, and maybe even an answer to the user saying no those two will conflict with each other you can't do that it's either or you know but let's start with install one operating system then all the packages come in the ones we put in Arch Linux B all the files in there that's basically what it needs to me to install right that would be nice if we could have something similar in uh, well like I said probably midterm long term so I downloaded this already for you guys and I want you to point also to the, the website itself. There are some news and articles in here that are interesting. Important additional information on your stable release. There is a bug for some people, AC9620. You need to have that Wi-Fi card, otherwise everything will just work. That bug isn't just for those guys. And then presentation, new things, etc. And here are of course the similar things that everybody has using Calamaris. If there are issues with Calamaris, everybody has the same issues. Some of them, some of them are straightforward. Some of them um, we've seen as well, discussed this, about it as well. The no flag ESP, it's not needed anymore. They just need to change the name. It's just the boot flag that you need to put and that's it. ESP is, is, is wrongly named actually, that's as simple as that. And the Lux encryption can be done. There are issues. Just check out the videos, how I did it. It's possible, but just the way I did it. Don't make it too complex yet. And of course, don't format your FAT32 if you're in Windows. Bad things will happen. But it's even more. So um, the info, okay, that's, that's you go and read. This is the team. Maybe interesting to see three guys putting heads together and say, okay, let's let's do this. Let's keep the soul of uh, Antergos alive. The download I've done already. And then the wiki, I would like you to point to this one as well. It's of course a little bit uh, scarce now, but even so, I mean, it just started. They have already a lot of articles on there, but there are things in here that might interest you. Downgrade packages, uh, how about desktop managers? Well, it's simple. You take your your puzzle, pieces of the puzzle. This is a piece of a puzzle. You can have LightDM, you can have uh, SDDM, you can have different kind of um, MDM, another one, GDM. So all these, these things you can uh, use as a display manager and explain things to you. And it's always good to have another go-to um, a website where you can learn things how to install desktop environments okay like I said just get a puzzle you have a, have a complete desktop environment 
with some extras. I think the games and such applications, more applications come in. Deeping and deeping extra, two words, that's it. But Budgie Desktop, one thing. But you need GNOME as a better experience. So all these things, it's on Arch Wiki, of course. It's on our systems. It's all Arch, so I may have not have mentioned this, but it's, of course, Arch Linux and Tergos was, this is true. Um, so the Wiki, take a look. Maybe there are interesting stuff in here. System Rescue, right? Nouveau drivers and NVIDIA installers, something that can uh, help you. To contact the forum and donate. Without further ado, let's do a clone. Let's say, let's install Endeavor. And I make sure that the Sardi and the Surfing icons are looking amazing. Of course, the second screen is running now. So it always interests me, of course, to go in more detail. The way I do it is to actually visit with E. If you click in here, Eric, and you type an E or a tab, in this case, a tab seemed to have worked. You can actually see what's in here. You can see the lines that you may change i'm gonna change something stupid behind it but you can actually add more um, elements like uh, what was again no mode set and stuff like that escape booting up sometimes it's difficult to boot up in different hardware and that's why these extra parameters you can provide the system live user automatic login now the information that we saw on the website is actually the same as i was just reading an efi and the uh, encryption things and all that so the exact thing is in this file and of course you can go and read it again and here are our information, create partitions, install Endeavor OS to disk. So you can do a gparted thing. So gparted is installed. Otherwise in the, there's also KDE partition manager, but I do launch gparted from this link. So you can do whatever you want with your system and add partitions and all that. And then this link here, install Endeavor OS to disk then launches our Calamares. So yes, Calamares can be themed and tweaked, luckily, right? Can be made bigger, smaller, any way you see fit. I'd rather have it a little bit bigger. You see that we have version 3.2.10. 10 is the last one and the release candidate one might have been a release prior or after, I'm not sure there, but it's anyway the 3.2.10. So that's that. I'm keeping my languages. New York, that's not working GYP. That's maybe because of the server that's down. You know we have the same issues if the Plasma or the KDE server, which is it asks, hey, where are you from? It's going to ask a server. If the server does not respond, he doesn't get an answer and you're living in New York. Simple, just drag it somewhere. I'm gonna take my Zerti. This is my way of installing these days. No swap, but you can have swap no hibernate. You can have swap with hibernate. Take a look at our 28 Calamaris tutorials, how to do things. I was always typing Arculex. This time it's Endeavor, Eric. So used to do it. Endeavor. Sounds like some kind of Star Trek Enterprise name. I'm going to work on the Endeavor. Okay. This is the critical part. Creating up, done. So the filling up file system is just a copy paste, the dump of all the things that um, they have. And what's they? They got here a 1.3 gigabyte. 1.3 gigabyte of uh, unpacking to do more or less 
So it results in, again, more or less times three, uh, 4.2 something of uh, web space, of actually hard disk space. We can have a look in the meantime. So we have a graphical settings manager for XFCE, mousepad, sensor viewer, XFCE, mail reader. Uh, actually, what is this? Okay, nothing set yet. So it's clearly still barren in the sense that it does not have any not and not, not I don't mean any but um, a small amount of software which is good for many people that's just awesome they want a bare system and they let them do their thing this is something new in the sense that we have Pamac a war there is Octopu Octop I think yeah and Kalu as uh, keep Arch Linux up to date another way to keep your system on up to date rather than update and PKS right away what we do on Anaco Linux. Okay. Development stuff. Graphics. No GIMP, no Inkscape. Right. Things I like to play around with. Transmission. We've gone to um, Q. What is this called again? Q thing. Q, Q, Q. Qubit torrent. That's our name. So it's the fun in Linux, the choice, right? You have lots of pieces in your puzzle and well, we've at some point in time, around January, I think, we've said, no, this one is out and Qubit Torrent is in because of the design mainly and because of course it was working as well. Super. So some elements as well there, all normal. And then the settings. The QT5, we have not seen it yet, that's here. That's something that's maybe uh, interests you and it's specific. You have to install it extra, it's not XFCE. And that's it. Let's enjoy the system. Restart. Boot existing OS. Now these are two lines. It's a bit small in VirtualBox and it's always going to be a bit small in VirtualBox. It's like that. Open this line with an E and do have a look what it says behind Linux, which is down here. So the line they start with is quiet audit is zero and log level is three. This has been also pointed out as a solution for people who can't, uh, not able to boot, then they should type log level three behind it. So here it is actually implemented. And this one with an E as well. Open it up. And here's the same, but there must be some kind of difference, but it's a bit small to, to read. We'll see it in the code later on. So you can edit these things. That's important for you to know. Anything you, any distro you open up, you can edit these lines and change something in there. Something your hardware requires. There we are. So, Kalu gives us news, 10 unread news. Now, I have to point out that this is going to be there and it's going to show you news from two, three years ago because not much happens in Arch Linux. This, this just uh, was a week or two ago, I don't know. And this guy is like six months ago already. I mean, it's, it can be um, overkill to have this. Let's call it like that. It's interesting, I know. But in the settings, in the preferences, luckily you can say Arch Linux News, Arch Linux News, save preferences, don't want to see it. Next time I boot up, I won't see it and I'll visit archlinux.org and I'll read what I have, whatever is happening. Okay, so we don't see this anymore. That's something you could do. This thing is blinking, so I guess, yep, there it goes. I have lots, to, lots of things to update and there's 5.2.1 Linux means in my brain reboot, reboot, reboot later on. And the Linux headers are installed as well. So in case you need them, you don't need them normally. Some uh, applications required, but it's installed here. And lesser concern than, enough, uh, how do I put it in English? Uh, a list and another thing not to be concerned about. Yeah, that's better. Right? That's what I want to say. Don't have to think about it. It's there. Nah, third time. 
So, the Saturday icons. We are on. What terminal is that actually? We are on preferences. We are on terminal preferences on an Arch based system. That's what I wanted to say prior to thinking, hey, what am I on? So, show new menu bar, help about XFC. Okay, and tweaked XFC. So, what I wanted to do is say, look, if this is an Arch system, then pseudo Pacman minus S Y Y U will work. Update my system. That's the, the alias we use, update, and behind it is this thing. I actually wonder if mirror is a thing here. No, it doesn't happen. So mirror is another thing we do that's getting the fastest mirrors around. There's probably a code in here they use as well. How, what was the normal one again? No, that's not it. I believe there was something. No. Anyway, so we're updating. That's good. We can have a look at alias. Uh, the aliases. And there's just one thing. That's this one. So when I type ls, it's actually gonna color it automatically. So that's it. So alias update equals pseudo backman minus s y y u we've created our own alias now i visited already the system and had to abandon the video so i'm doing, doing a second video now so pseudo pacman minus r best way to see if something is in installed is by removing it if you can remove it then it's actually installed right so that's uh, a quick tip in between so the yay works so i could do a yay neofetch for instance let's see if neofetch is installed actually okay nay neofetch let's get the git version the last version guys you have to think about uh, putting in your logo there if not done we'll see soon enough the git version is the last version, meaning if they've done it and it's accepted, we'll see something. So it's still Arch Linux, which is of course nice as well, um, but probably they'll like their own ASCII code. That's what it's called thing. So the alias update exists. Let me prove that to you. Oh, why is that? Did I do a typo? Or was that here? <laughs> okay, it's here. So the alias update is working, but it's not in our bash RC. If you want to keep it, it needs to be there. So it's loaded up and that's it. There is also the yay minus S Y Y U. If there are any packages from AOR in here, I do see here the endeavors endeavor OS and the signature so there's an other um, repo and this repo if it's here in this line it means but well, let's first boot before i forget we saw a kernel remember logout oh logout reboot restart restart there must be something in etcpacman.conf right something pointing to the repo of this new newly created and baptized as endeavor so this is a little bit technical we actually we just wanted to look at Saturday and surfing but I my technical brain takes over so just quick go and have a look at this file that's the, the logical file first actually need to look somewhere else but the logical file would say go and look in pacman.conf then they say go and look in pacman.d all 
right? And this is the mirror list. So it's coming from SourceForge as first server. If this one fails, then it goes to this guy. Okay. So that's how it's set up. That's our Pac-Man. If you do an update, well, you know update won't work. You need to put the alias uh, where it's supposed to be. That one. <laughs> now the update works. Okay. So if this is an Arch Linux uh, system and yay is present, that means that I can actually control C. That means that I can actually say yay Sardi, right? Yes, it's possible. And all the Sardi vari varieties are in here. They've been put in small packages, so you don't have need to install a meta package of 120 icon themes, but just a particular one. So the standard one you always need. You always need number one, the Sardi icons. That's um, the other core file, let's say. It will rely on that one, always. That's what we want to do. We want to give this newly created operating system in Linux, Arch Linux, the proper icon support for Sardi and Surfing. In the meantime, another wallpaper. We have to wait anyway. They'll make new ones. It's like a Mac OS wallpaper, this one. Cleaning up, installing, okay, great. Then there's another one I would like to check up on, if that's correct. As a surfing icons. And that's going to be installed. In the meantime, let's go to this little button, appearance, arc darker. I like my arc dark, thank you very much. Icons. We have here the arc theme, but we have also Sardi, Sardi arc. And now we have all these, these arc thingies. Let's put you over here. Then Tunar, open up. What you get is these things, right? All these colorful things. Sardi, not a kind of folder, still colorful. And it goes like that, goes on like that, you know? Sardi flat is more flat icons and it goes on and on like that. I'll just go down to just check out how the icons look. So the Sardi flexible, I'll go to that one later. Everything is blue and so on and so on. This is for the, the dark theme. So if you have a dark theme, then white against dark looks nice. White against white, not so much. Let's maybe go and continue into Surfen straight away. No, it's still not there. Surfen is now installed, so it can be red now. And let's go from the bottom to the top. So this is a more colorful approach of icons. Can be anything. You're free. The icons are so totally free. No rules from circular and shading and all that that I have to look out for in the Sardi icons. These are all any color they want to be. Now, let's see if I have to create something for these guys. Okay, that one is the one I used to test. This is all blue and if it's not blue, I need to do something. Here I see something, Zen map, okay. Let me give you a tip. Install a hard code fixture. I think it's with a dash. I let Yay figure it out. If it's a dash or not, that's great about Yay. Super search. So I have an application. What do I do, I do with it? I do sudo hard. A tip for the guys: um, the sudo is not working in auto tab. So I'm gonna type everything, sudo hardcode fixer. Okay, now this application is going to check in user share applications, what desktop files are in there and have a yes. 
these developers have created a hard-coded path so it's good, never gonna change their theme and because of this little script now Zen map is just following the color theme okay that is done there was one more and that's Kalu and Kalu is their installing system like Pamek Ewar, Octopi and maybe there are others uh, please supply other names if you know others under the video here's the guy keep Arch Linux up to date so that's an application well I've launched it twice it just keeps um, well it stays in here I can't quit it yet so it's an application to no notifications great fine um, where was that the preferences is interesting that to have a look at to take a look at so the Arch Linux news put it off but there's other stuff here upgrades things that I still need to figure out stuff that you can set which is nice the more things we can set the better one is enough check for upgrades and then we have to wait manage to watch well, preferences upgrade simulation system upgrade what's all this we've done our updates so probably nothing to see voila okay done close um so the i write down for my work that we are going to make an kalu icon so it fits nicely into the theme uh, it would be great if the creators of Kalu could actually give us a possibility to change the icon in here because I thought it was in here I can use on notification but the notification is something up here it would be nice if we had a line I can use on tray and then we just put anything we like in here any logo we like and love okay but that's not for Endeavor that's for the guys from Kalu A quick look at the other one. Oh, sorry, desktop, not the idea. Quick look at Surfen Arc is one I choose often. So means that we still have these beautiful uh, folders from um, uh, what the was the name again? Arc three one four seven. I don't know. The same developer from the Arc theme three one seven zero. I don't know. Anyway, this is the look now. Okay. And that can be your system as well. And if the logo can be changed, it's like anything else in XFC, Whisker Menu, Properties, you can change this icon here, you can change the title here, you can forget about the title, or forget about the icon, anything that can be changed. You can make these guys small, smaller, um, anything goes you are the boss of your system that's already that's set so that leaves us that um, we have a new system here we have a new Endeavor OS and you can try it out it's pretty similar than any Arch Linux and Arch Linux and uh, other Arch Linux based systems like Manjaro you can have your your breeze cursor for instance i'm missing my white cursor it's just start puzzling or no get your puzzles in captain cursors i've tried it out also in the past number two out of date doesn't matter it doesn't matter out of date means instead of version 3500 you get the first version 3499 it's still gonna work that's all it means so appearance fonts icons always wrong here it's mouse touchpad behavior theme breeze light one please thank you very much and I'm happy now and this is actually pretty um, in design and you just make it even more pretty and try out Endeavor OS all right cheers